Let's look into the detail of the instruments now and be aware that if you've ever used Chris Hines solo strings, orchestral brass or woodwinds, the interface and functions should be very familiar to you. Articulations. 32 articulations have been recorded from C0 to F6, most of them with six to eight dynamic layers. In this huge articulation list, you'll find seven different sustained articulations, 12 different shorts, and 13 special articulations like trills, tremolo, cluster clouds, octaves, repetitions, and runs. and effects. The tempo of all articulations, especially repetitions and runs, can easily be adjusted to your host tempo. Convolution. All samples have been recorded completely dry so it leaves you free to use the two onboard convolution reverbs to separately design the body and room of the instrument. Body provides a very short impulse response to design the basic character of the instrument. The room reverb function contains 40 varied room impulse responses Dynamic. The eight dynamic layers offer a wide range of expression. Four different dynamic modes are available to handle the huge dynamic range. Keyboard mode triggers the up to eight dynamic layers with the velocity of your keyboard. Crossfade blends between the dynamic layers via CC11. Keyboard and crossfade is a combination of both, which lets you play with velocity, but you can then control the dynamic with CC11 after the note is pressed. Auto crossfade performs a dynamic curve, which can easily be edited in detail. The length of the curve can be adjusted with the length fader, and there are five presets available, which you can redesign yourself. Legato. Three different legato modes are available. Legato Short performs a smooth fingered legato. In addition to the true legato samples, an artificial legato engine is used to fine tune the transition in detail. The clever script programming allows really fast and agile legato playing without any delay caused by transition samples. Even manual played trills are possible, although of course there are major and minor trill articulations too. Legato Long is a smooth portamento with adjustable speed and offset. The legato works over the whole range of the instrument at a range of one octave, both up and down. Offset lets you shorten the portamento, simulating a string player performing a short glide into the note. With the combination of speed and offset, almost any type of portamento transition is possible. The legato long sounds especially nice when used with the trill articulations.
The glide mode is a very flexible way to play realistic runs. You can adjust the speed of the run. This works even while the run is playing. Steps sets the amount of notes played by the run. Setting step to a small number performs a grace note. The scale can be set to chromatic, major, different minors or a pentatonic scale. Key sets the root key of the scale. You can play really crazy, fast, shimmering cascades with the glide mode, which would be a lot of work to program manually. Even the target note can be assigned individually from the original articulation. You can easily switch between the different legato and glide mode settings by storing them on different key switch presets. Note heads. The note heads are probably one of the most unique features in Chris Hine Ensemble strings. The note heads provide access to eight different versions of short articulations with a single fader. You can use them as is to hear the natural ending of the notes, or you can stack them on top of these sustains, which gives a huge number of 72 different attack shapes per note. Blending. The blending controls let you blend into the tremolo or trill articulations using user-defined MIDI CC values. This is a more intuitive way to blend into a tremolo or trill on the fly rather than using a key switch. Hotkeys. Trills and many other functions can also be triggered using the hotkeys. As you can see, the articulation jumps back to the original when the hotkey is released. Any of the 27 keys at the lower end of the keyboard can be assigned as a key switch or a hotkey. Repeat last note is great to play fast repetitions. It also works great to play legato on a single note, simulating realistic bow change. The hotkeys can also be set up to play an organic vibrato manually on the keyboard. This provides absolute freedom over intensity and speed of the vibrato. In addition, you could edit the details in your DAWs editor. Ensemble. The ensemble mode lets you thicken the sound by changing the number of virtual voices from 1 to 5, and you can adjust the stereo spread and detuning of each voice. This is a subtle but useful effect, especially when used with the small ensemble patches to thicken up the basses, for example. Settings. In the settings page, you can adjust many general settings for the instrument. Depending on your favorite workflow, you can edit the behavior of the faders. You can edit the details of the release sample, activate round robin, edit the keyboard dynamic curve, pitch bend setting, and ADSR. There's also a Sordino switch with adjustable frequency, which simulates a Sordino style playing for all articulations. The built-in microtuner lets you shift the individual notes of a scale, including various presets of common classical tuning techniques. DSP effects. A sub-page of the settings holds the DSP effect rack, including reverb, delay, chorus, phaser, flanger, compressor, EQ, and filter. Vibrato. A whole page is dedicated to vibrato. The vibrato can be customized in many ways, intensity, speed, volume, tuning, and even an EQ with adjustable frequency and bandwidth. Usually the vibrato is controlled via CC1, the mod wheel, but you can also design the vibrato behavior over time and choose auto vibrato to keep your left hand free. There are five preset options for both LFO and auto vibrato, and of course you can design your own curves. 
Don't forget the hotkey vibrato, which also relates to the settings on the vibrato page. For more information about Chris Hine Ensemble Strings, head to www.chrishine.net or www.bestservice.de where you can also hear audio demos, watch more demo videos and access support materials. And thanks so much for watching.